And welcome back. We're still sticking to the Zuma release, a story, the decision that was taken earlier on by the Correctional Services Commissioner uh, to release the president, the former president, on the special remissions program. We now speak to, via Teams, where the Democratic Alliance Shadow Minister of Justice and Constitutional Development, Glynis Breitenbach. Glynis, good morning. Thank you so much for making time for us. Uh, what's the Democratic Alliance's response to this decision that has been taken by the Correctional Services Commissioner? Well, the, the entire uh, sideshow is an absolute disgrace. Uh, the decision taken by the commissioner, of course, allows him to, to uh, wash his hands in innocence, and his decision is, of course, that Zuma must return to prison. Um, he's obliged to carry out this, uh, this so-called remission process, uh, you know, from the president. So Zuma walks in the door and signs his name on a bit of paper and walks straight out again. Um, and so he effectively is allowed to stand clear. Um, the ham-fisted uh, defence by uh, the minister, Lamola, uh, was nothing short of disgraceful. Um, you know, suggesting that this is a legitimate process that began in April and has to do anything at all to do with overcrowding is just a joke. Uh, Correctional Services has failed dismally to add any significant uh, number of bed spaces to any prisons in the last five years and longer despite overcrowding being 45% uh, plus. Um, so, so the timing of this, this, this confluence of coincidences doesn't fool anybody. And of course, the, uh, Mr. Ramaphosa will be shocked and, uh, and say that he was acting on the advice of, of his minister. So everybody can sort of stand uh, apart from this ridiculous little sideshow that took place this morning. Is it special treatment? Of course, it's special treatment. It's a uh, it's a, a a sly, devious uh, manipulation of the criminal justice process to allow one man to walk out of prison um, and inflict then upon the South African citizens uh, 9,500 plus convicted criminals who are going to walk out regardless of time served uh, with with no uh, functioning. Uh, oversight system because to suggest that they will be under the scrutiny of community corrections is uh, as good as saying you know that um, that that you know they'll be under the scrutiny of Father Christmas because community corrections barely functions as it is it's under resourced overworked unable to perform its functions even remotely satisfactorily now add another nine and a half thousand to it and it will continue to perform as dismally as it does at the moment uh, because it's completely under resourced. Uh, with regards to human resources as well as financially. And, uh, and again, uh, DCS has done nothing uh, to capacitate it. So the smoke and mirrors and no South African would be fooled by this nonsense. Okay, you're calling it nonsense, a decision that uh, the DA would consider taking on a review or do you also believe that as the minister said that this has been a legitimate process? After today, I'll have a lot of difficulty believing anything the minister says, and I don't believe it was a legitimate process, and we will in all probability take it on review, and we're certainly giving it at the moment very serious consideration. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Glynis Breitenbach there, um, who is the Shadow Minister of the DA for Justice and Constitutional Development. We want to know from you this morning, what do you make of the decision that has been taken by the Correctional Services Commissioner with regards to the release of the former president on um, the remissions program? So the Department of Correctional Services saying that former President Jacob Zuma was this morning processed at the escort prison after handing himself in. However, he will not serve the remainder of the sentence due to a remission process that the non Island offenders have benefited from the National Commissioner of Correctional Services, Mahoti Tobahale, made the announcement this morning.